Today was the second in what we hopefully are going to create an annual event of the California Micro Mouse Competition. This competition was designed to promote a competitive environment for Micro Mouse. We've had about 20 teams from all over the world come and uh, compete various robots in similar in form to this in a uh, maze solving competition. So the object is to uh, build a robotic mouse that can solve a 16 by 16 cell maze in the shortest amount of time possible. You start on the outside and you need to get to four cells in the middle. And these mazes are designed to defeat standard wall following tactics and whatnot. And the mouse is a completely autonomous machine. No human interaction is permitted. In fact, if the operator, you know, the, the mouse builder touches their mouse while it's running and it's not in the starting box or the finish box, they actually incur a time penalty for every run after. And the goal of this is to either explore the maximal amount of cells in the maze possible, you know, if you think of it as cells on graph paper, or to solve the maze, which is actually reaching the center. This year I redesigned the entire maze you see right here all the way from the base panels to essentially the walls and the corner posts that hold it all together. We've had an existing maze since about 2009. It's a big tabletop arrangement. While it works really well as a maze, it's hard to set up, it's hard to move around, it's hard to get perfect. People complain about the level changes and all the regularities and the actual surface of the maze. So what I went for and the redesign here is a completely modular, completely transportable, easy to set up and easy to level maze that actually levels itself. We'd like to, just from an, you know, IEEE UCSD expanding its MicroMouse space, we'd like to have maybe one or, we maybe like to go to another competition other than just, we have CAM and then we have the Southwestern Area meeting competition. So we aren't, right now we're competing twice. We'd like to expand, maybe get, grab a third competition or do like an outreach event um, we've done those in the past, they tend to be very successful, it's just we haven't had people who are available to do them, so we'd like to expand there. And then for CAM, we'd like to grow it into a larger competition, maybe get several teams from, from other countries, China, say Japan, uh, maybe India, you know, depending on what we can, what we can muster in the, the year that we have to plan it. And then also we'd like to sort of promote CAM a lot more in terms of, of what it can do for students. You know, we would like to use it as a place for, for learning, for students to become competent in things that they may not have been competent in before, you know, and, and have a place to explore, you know, the, the sort of the practical side, the practum side of engineering 